Okay, hi everyone. I'm here with your 521 lesson, When Are They the Same? Introduction to Systems of Equations. In section 4.1, you graph lines and curves that represented tile patterns. But what happens when you graph two lines at the same time? What can you learn? Today, you will use data, graphs, and rules to examine what happens when two lines or curves intersect. Problem 523. Five twenty three, sorry. The it the Iterad Trail sled dog race is famous for its incredible length and its use of dogs. The sled drivers known as mushers start their dog sleds at Fairbanks, Alaska and ride through the snow for several days until they reach Nome, Alaska. Along the route there are stations where the competitors check in so data is kept on the progress of each team. Joyla and her team of dogs have made it through the first five checkpoints. Her buddy Evie left Nome, the finish line, on the day the race started in an effort to meet Julia and offer encouragement. Evie traveled along the route toward the racers on her snowmobile. The progress of each person is shown on the graph that follows. Your task. With your team, analyze the data on the graph. Consider the questions below as you work. Be prepared to defend your results. Explore the problem using the CC3 523 Student E-Tool, Desmos. Click in the lower right corner of the graph to view it in full screen mode, Desmos Accessibility. So you're gonna answer the first bullet point. Which data represents Evie? Which represents Julia? How can you tell? So go ahead and pause the video and answer that question. Okay, if you're back with me, you've answered part this first bullet point. So Evie is the circles because she traveled to Fairbanks. Julia is the triangles because she traveled away from Fairbanks. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and answer the next two bullet points. When did Evie meet Julia and how long was the race? How can you tell? Okay, if you're back with me, you've answered the next two. So Evie met Julia. So what you should have done is you should have extended your graph. Okay, so you should have extended the circles, extended the triangles. So hopefully, when you see your graph, when you extend your graph, you see something like this. So this point right here is where they meet. There's a triangle and there's a circle. So that is between 90 and 100 hours. So it doesn't have to be exact because we're not going to be able to be exact but we need to be close. So anywhere between 90 and 100 hours is a good answer. The next one was how long was the race? How can you tell? Well, again, I said you needed to continue your circles and continue your triangles. So you also should have continued your circles up. If you would have continued your circles up, you could see on the graph that um, Evie started approximately at 1,100 miles. So 1,100 miles, and how can you tell? Because this is where the extension of EV circles intersect the y-axis. Okay, so you know that where we intersect the y-axis, that would be her starting point. So go ahead and pause the video and answer the last two bullet points. OK, 
Okay, if you're back with me, you've extended your line, or you've answered the next two bullet points. So who traveled faster? How do you know? Hopefully you said Evie. Evie traveled faster because her line is steeper. Okay, so if you're looking back at the graph here, I did not extend on this one, but I'll show you. So you can see that her line is going down faster. It's steeper. So looking here again, here come her circles. They're going down at a um, steep rate. So she would be faster. And the last bullet set points is approximately how long did it take Julia to finish the race? How did you find your answer? Approximately 230 hours. And to find your answer, you needed to extend the line of triangles to 1,100 miles. So we knew that the race was 1,100 miles because that is where, oh, sorry, because that is where Evie started in Fairbanks. So we need to extend the triangles, which is Jolia's, all the way up to 1,100 miles. So when you did that, it would be approximately at 230 hours. Okay. Flip it over to 524. 524 says the point where two lines or curves cross is called a point of intersection. Two or more lines or curves are called a system of equations. When you work with your data, points of intersection can be meaningful as you saw in the last problem. On graph paper, graph y equals 3x minus 4 and y equals negative 2x plus 6 on the same set of axes. So remember what you need when you are creating a complete graph. B, find the point of intersection of these two lines and label the point with its coordinates. That is right in the form x, y. What is the significance of this point for the two rules in part A? So you're going to do 524 on your own, and then when you come back to class, we are going to go over this. If you have any questions, make sure you email us. Um, and when you're uploading your pictures, make sure you email or you upload a picture of the notes and of your graph paper. So your job is to finish 524.